Here is Fiorella Isabella. Um, it's really amazing to come full circle because in January, Jackson, myself, and a few others here today were at Force the Vote. And it took a lot of courage to come in the bitter cold of January and to be faced with so much hatred, not just by the right, but by the democratic establishment and some faux aggressive leftists who refuse to call out their politicians, who refuse to hold them accountable. We have the squad who ran with working people's money, who ran and took every last month that a lot of us had and didn't push for Medicare for All, who right now refuse to retweet any of the March events. And we have them show up, Cori Bush, props to her for showing up in D.C. But if you're going to run, if you're going to have a uh, map that says Medicare for All, if you're going to have birds that says Medicare for All, and you're not going to do a goddamn thing to actually push it, I have a problem with that. Because we have people dying every single day right now. Yeah. One of the most memorable things I saw in that January was a young man wearing all his medical bills along his jacket. Those were all the bills that he had to pay because we don't have health care in this country. And if the government gave a damn about giving you health care, they would have done it at the very least during a pandemic. But they don't care. So the fight for health care doesn't end with Medicare for all. It is only the beginning. Because we cannot have these politicians and the government bring in big pharma to tell us everything we need to do. When did we start trusting every single politician and every single thing that came out of this big pharma? They need to get out. We the people need to write le the legislation. Yeah. We the people need to have our voice. And that's the reality because at the end of the day, when we were there January 4th or 5th fighting for force of vote and there was also a Julian Assange protest, the reason, the reason we were all there was because we were censored. Because the mainstream media, like CNN right here, censors independent media. All of you here, independent media, are crucial because they don't talk about Medicare for all. They're propagandists for the state agencies. And that's why we're here today. That's why you see us here. And they were trying to censor us. We had more police surrounding us at Force the Vote and Julian Assange than we had Thank <laughs> you.